Hello people, I'm here again to show you a new tutorial. So let's start by creating a new document. Uh, as usual, we keep the size as we know. Um, just blank new document. Um, now I'm going to add a new layer, which is the usual grid use. Um, I use mine actually, I prefer this one. Um, now we're going to rasterize it and invert it because it is better, I guess. Uh, now I'm going to save it to a new file and open the new file with Panel Painter. Uh, now this with this version uh, it pop ups in a and stays on top of the other windows uh, so it doesn't it does, <coughs> doesn't get hided, <coughs> hidden by um, Photoshop whenever you lost focus and so I'm arranging the window so I always see it and it doesn't bother me with the UI so I just keep it on side I'm just adjusting it uh, cool so what I'm gonna do now yeah still fixing stuff uh, okay ready uh, new layer I can now start to paint in Photoshop so I'm laying down some strokes, just a basic shape of a humanoid or something like that. Okay, just a couple of arms. So as you can see, it's going to take a lot of space. The whole field of view is occupied by this big shape. Oh yeah, as you can see, the top part is going to be uh, really big because it has a lot of distortion and that's fine because it's, anyway it's going to convert to the center and voila, now I saved the file um, in the panel painter, after a little bit, it updated the image. So this is a new feature. Whenever you save the file, uh, it triggers an update. So you can see it while you are painting live. So I'm gonna make some changes. Uh, I don't really know how long those uh, uh, need to be so I can save and look around where the you see there there is a new uh, grid that's on top of the other one uh, so I can disable the one in the in Photoshop uh, I can just use the the wireframe one uh, it's just up to you uh, you can you can toggle it by pressing the W key in your keyboard so now I'm starting to make this big shape. Uh, I want I want that to um, to go around the point of view, so they kind of uh, yeah their surroundings. And as you can see, the shape it's like uh, some 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 giant monster that's looking you from the top, bottom. And this is the idea. I'm trying to to match the perspective in a, in a way that uh, it seems really big. Uh, now I'm going to make uh, some sort of hammer. So I'm bending. I'm bending it to follow the lines, so you can see it's uh, really straight in uh, in the panorama view. 
so you can you can draw and check if everything is going uh, the way you expect and yeah just adding details piece of rock maybe I don't know yeah it looks like a big rocky hammer starting to add some lighting maybe a bit of shading to make it more interesting I don't really have a clear idea of what I'm doing just an example of how to use the, the panel painter so whenever I save you see it updates immediately and that's all uh, I'll just keep the process going on uh, nothing else to say so cool